Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. It is time for a market outlook. We're going to take a look at FIFA 20 Ultimate Team this week. What kind of content could we be getting? And there's a big time question mark this week. I don't know what kind of content we're going to get this week. Technically, we are inside of the Foot Player Days promo still, which is interesting because we haven't gotten anything. The second half of it, this is actually a two week promo. There really hasn't been anything going on. There's no cards that are in packs right now. We have Icon Swap Set 3, new season objectives, and we've been getting a couple of squad building challenges. But other than that, the main thing people are doing right now is this, Icon Swap Set 3. That's what people are doing in foot right now. Um, I myself am doing some Icon Swaps. I'm trying to get that 9 token allotment where I can go and open the Icon Pack. By the way, if you guys have those, I would love to open them. Tuesday, uh, kind of like 12 p.m. time, 12 p.m. 1 a.m. UK time is technically when I'm streaming. It's like evening time for me in the U.S. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash the foot account. And I'll open those on a live stream if you guys would like me to. Just a shout out for that. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in. But this week, man, I really don't feel like there's going to be a, a ton of stuff happening on the game this week. We've been getting decent SBCs, almost like one per day. Uh, on Sunday, we got this in the spotlight one day um, rare gold pack SBC, which is solid. And then we had some updates to uh, some more of the, the SBCs back here. Some of these got upgraded. I forget which ones it was. Was it MLS one of them? We had a third, uh, a third player added for some of these SBCs back here. I forget who it was. Uh, this one's already had Verity. Was it the Saudi League? Okay, the Saudi League was one of them. I think the Souza CDM card is a new one. Some of these, some of these look pretty awesome. So if you're a league SBC grinder, this is good content for you. High rated. I think the, I don't know which one. I honestly, boys, don't pay a lot of attention to these. I don't know if that Cruz is new. Didn't look like it's new. I think the other guy was new. But we had some new guys added. Murphy is a left mid, 88 rated. So again, these are high rated SBC cards you can get. Uh, Musanda, I think Musanda is new. That's a solid card too. A lot of these league SBC cards that they're putting out are, are decently solid. So that is some of the content that we got on Sunday info, which wasn't a ton. But basically what they've been doing is they've just been dropping player SBCs right now. And I honestly think EA is just kind of in like scramble mode. I think they're trying to figure out what they want to do with weekend league rewards, what they want to do for team of the week. And we have a decent amount of SBC content that is released right now, uh, like player SBCs. Like we actually, we have Boateng, Bellerin, Benega, and Ricardo Kreisman. We have four just regular flashback or player moments SBCs that are still out right now. Uh, and then, of course, we have all of these, the non-expiring. I guess, actually, Boateng is a non-expiring SBC. I did not realize that. I did not realize that Boateng has no expiration date, which is cool. I like that. But, um, yeah, so we have, okay, three SBCs out and then a lot of these, these other players. I know for a fact that a lot of people are doing this Boateng. I saw so many of them this week in League. It was crazy. Uh, so I, I would expect a couple, two, uh, two or three more SBCs possibly this week. Um, but again, the thing that I'm really curious about is to see what they do with the, with the team of the weeks and what they're going to do with old promo cards, putting them back into rewards. I think they're going to do a mix of both old promo cards and older team of the weeks for rewards this week. And, you know, again, I think I've been, I talked about this a little bit before. I really wish that we knew what we were playing for Like back to the FIFA 18 days. You would be getting the rewards for the team of the week that was was prior, right? So let's say this team of the week 24 came out on Wednesday. You played that week in league on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, three days later. You would be getting in your red picks and team of the week picks this team of the week. So you knew what you were playing for in terms of team of the week cards. I wish it was still like that. And I don't hear many people talking about that anymore. But with the retalk of rewards and how they're going to have to rework them because of what's been going on. I really wish that that's how it still was because right now when you play weekend league, you really don't know what kind of cards you're going to be playing for. It just depends on what happens IRL. And then of course now we don't know what the rewards are going to be at all. So why? Yeah, it doesn't just make, it doesn't make sense to not know what you're playing for, especially in the content, in the competitive mode where the rewards are what everybody is after, uh, which is foot champions. Everybody's after the rewards in foot champions. So that's the biggest thing this week um, with the, the rewards. And then also FIFA 19 people, I don't know if this is this, uh, the message that they put out on FIFA 19 saying that, hey, Weekend League is going to be open. I don't know if Weekend League has been open prior to that. And they just put a message out saying, hey, it's going to be open for the last time now. 
or if this is a new message and it wasn't open and they're opening it for one weekend. But I think that's something we're going to talk about throughout this week as well is how many people are playing Weekend League on FIFA 20 and how many people are going to be playing Weekend League on FIFA 19. Because I do think there will be some people that go and play Weekend League on FIFA 19 because of what EA is doing. Um, opening the servers back up the, or, or whatever it is. At least emphasizing the surfers are going to be open for Weekend League this next weekend. So that's something to keep in mind as well. That's going to cause some market movements or maybe some lack of market movements as well this week. But again, Team League 27 is the biggest thing. I would I would expect a couple more SBCs this week. And other than that, I really don't know what's going to be going on. Uh, I would expect a promo at the end of the week. I really would expect another promo happening at the end of this week. Uh, either Foot Birthday or Carnival. It's a little it's a little late for Carnival because last year that started like last week. Uh, it would have started when this Foot Player Days was on. Basically when Icon Swaps three came out that's when carnival should have started as of what last year's date was so we'll see what happens this week but i do expect we get a promo because um ea have just been pumping out the promos week after week after week and i don't think anything's going to change uh because of that we have some man of the match cards that are in packs right now um one quick short note a couple of these cards i think are pretty solid to invest in ilicic and sabitzer are on my radar because um, and honestly, is Illicic here? Illicic is the cheapest 89 rated player. Here he is 89 rated player. The cheapest one on this game right now is Illicic for 35,000 coins. Whenever you see a man of the match or a card that is an inform or some other type of special card that is the cheapest at its rating, Adangiz is a great example as well. This Adangiz at 20,000 coins is a beautiful investment. He's going out of packs, good links. He's 87 rated. He's basically SBC fodder. But he's not a gold card that's going to be continuously packed. So I'm going to go snag myself an Illicic. If he is actually still 35k, I'm going to go snag him right now. Because that is a card that I want to get in my club as a club stock. Because 89s are a bit inflated right now. And uh, I'm going to sort by basic chem style to try to get all the fresh ones. And evidently there are no fresh ones at 35k. That must have been a bit of an undercut. 30. Wow, what the heck man? Was it really... Am I missing cards here by not searching fresh? Usually you can search fresh and you see them because uh, this card is in packs. So that 35,000 coins must have been an undercut, which is interesting. But if you do see this card back at 35k, that's a massive buy because the, the cheapest 89 rated card other than that, 37k for Illicic, the cheapest 89 rated card other than that is Koulibaly and De Gea and Allison at 40,000 coins. So if you guys do have your high rated, you're, you're chilling. You know what? I'm just going to buy this one at 37 and chuck it in the club because he's probably going to be 45k plus uh, in the next couple of weeks because he's going out of packs and he's a man of the match card and he's very rare. So I'm, I'm a fan of that, like 37k. And then let me snag an Adangiz as well uh, because this card is pretty cheap for an 87 rated special. 21,000 coins. Let's go with like uh, this maybe. Set a tight range because I know he has some other special cards. Yeah, he's got the 86 man of the match. I want the 87 and again i'm going to search for special and basic chemistry style so i can sort through less of these cards although it looks like uh somebody's got the adangiz market on lockdown interestingly enough but this is a good investment thing that you guys can do if you're you're buying discard man of the matches as well so bitzer is a great investment at, at discard price hello ea sports can i get myself a adangiz please the man of the match version hello are there really this many of the other man of the match on the market? This is really intriguing to me. Is it going to be worth it for me to make 5,000 coins on this card if I have to spend 10 minutes to get the 59th minute to buy him? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But 87 on a geese is a decent card if you want to go snag one. There was one right there. How much is this? 21,000. What's this one? 20,000. Are we have any cheaper back at the 59th? 20,500. Any more? 21,000. That's it. All right, so I'll take that one for 20500 uh, right back here, and I will chuck that into my club as an 87 rated. That took way too long for me to make 5,000 coins in that card. Was it worth it? I don't know, boys. <laughs> but that's basically like a club stock. Uh, a club stock for high rateds, but it's even better with cards that are going out of packs. Again, if you have high rateds, keep listing them for lazies. If you recall, I bought all of these 89 rateds at 35k. I've been listing at 45k for the next for the past week, and they are starting to trickle off because people are doing SBCs, 
I bought this Sterling at 27K. I bought these Godines at 27 to 20, 25 to 27K. Uh, so these sales have been fantastic. Continue to list your cards because if we don't have a lot of content this week, when we don't have content, people go and they do SBCs. I know there's a lot of people on the game right now because of the virus and everybody being home, schools are canceled and stuff like that. If that is you, uh, you know, hold on to your high rate of fodder if you have it. But if you're looking to make some coins this week, um, you should be able to make a decent amount of coins just trading with past team of the weeks. Now there is a little bit of risk here. And this is, this is some of my favorite trading to do because these cards fluctuate all the time, especially like right now, we're in a weekend league sell-off period, which could be this Bruno Fernandez card right here. This Bruno Fernandez was 700,000 coins just uh, like all this weekend because of the Manchester United hype uh, with the Fred card going into objectives. Even at 700K today, he was 730 at one point. What about on Saturday? 649. So this look at this fluctuation. These fluctuations are crazy. If I saw this at like 630K, maybe even 620, I would be interested. So fluctuating fluctuation trading this week should be fantastic uh, because there are more people on the game and that just means more people are going to be doing things on this game. Uh, and that might mean some more buying power for cards that people are going to be going and trying out. So maybe flipping icons could be a decent move this week. So Bruno Fernandez is 6 50 there's a bid at 640 uh but if you saw this guy like mid to low 600s that could be an, an interesting flipping opportunity and then this uh the the other 88 inform is coming out as well i don't know about player of the month fernandez and mbappe i'll probably talk about mbappe later this week i really don't know if that's going to be coming i would expect it to um but with all the stuff being shut down the quarantine going on they can't actually give out these awards so they're not getting announced you know, they might know who the actual winner is, but they're not actually announcing these awards and giving them out uh, because of all the quarantine and the shutdown and stuff like that. So again, that's like the biggest part of this week is like, what's going to happen with rewards? EA kind of has to manufacture some content here. If there was a promo that was scheduled for this this Friday, this, this next weekend, they probably already had it scheduled out and they had some ideas. Uh, so I wouldn't think that would be something they had to throw together really fast. Um, but I do think they would have to throw together something for like the team of the week and that sort of stuff this week as well. But again, if, if you're trading, you're trading right now in FIFA Ultimate Team, I'm gonna say icons are probably great because they're gonna be fluctuating. There's gonna be people on the game, especially with the focus being on icon swaps. Uh, there's gonna be people that are just thinking about icons. And when people are thinking about icons, uh, they go and try icons out. There might be people, uh, I put a tweet out earlier this weekend. I said, hey, how many of you guys go out and try icons that are in icon swap? because you're interested in giving them a try first before you you know, get them untradeable if you have that option. Didn't seem like a ton of people were interested in that, but I know there are some people out there that do that. So that would be a little bit of increased uh, demand for some icons possibly. I'm trying to find a good filter right now where I can get to the 59th minute and I can't necessarily find one just yet. Okay, it looks like we found one here. But icon trading, this is some of my favorite types of trading on this game. I love with trading with the big cards. The rarity of them is awesome. And it's just really fun for me to trade with these. So this should be a decent way to trade this week. If you have any questions on that, I do have a video specifically um, talking about trading with icons. Uh, if you go onto my tr FIFA 20 trading methods playlist, there's a video on there talking about how to trade with icons, a couple of videos, videos actually. But that should be great this week. And then of course, out of pack special cards. And we're in more of a dead time of FIFA at the moment and you know when you're in more of a slow and a, and a dead time there's not as many people on the game one of the things you can do to make really solid coins this rush at 133 interests me wow that's low see again i haven't educated myself on some of these prices lately and they are low but open bids are going to be fantastic in this time frame right go look through some older team of the week cards like a kenny lala would be a perfect example of somebody who's probably inflated in price uh, never mind. He's not really that up. I thought it would be up for the Kempembe man of the match. But watch for guys like this on open bid. This this is a type of card on open bid. Like there, right there. 17,000 coins. Not really that much profit. But hey, maybe you can snag this guy at some point like 15,000 coins and you flip him for 20 to 21k. That is like a solid flip that you can expect. Like to, to be able to work all week. When the market is more dead like this, when we're in the second half of the year, there's two things that work better. Fluctuation trading, open bids, actually three things. Fluctuation trading, open bids, and Thursday flipping are all better in the second half of the year when there's less people on the market 
because there's less competition for that stuff, but there's still enough demand that people are buying cards. So if you want to trade this week, and this is this is what I want to talk about today as well, because a lot of you guys are coming back onto the game, maybe you're doing some icon swaps and you want to get some more coins. If you want to trade this week, again, this page right here is my favorite on Footbin. I love this page. Go to the players drop down if you are on the console or on the on the web. Go down to the team of the weeks and click right there. And that will take you to a listing of all the team of the weeks and special cards on this game. Now, it won't show you the economy bowl cards and it won't show you man of the matches. Um, but if you want to trade with those, those are good shouts as well. But just trade with some of these more recent promo cards because these guys fluctuate a ton. Uh, Marcelo, 1.19. That's, pre that's pretty low. Mares was 290 earlier today. This Mbabu card fluctuates a ton because he's just rare. A lot of these shapeshifters are pretty rare. So just kind of learn some fluctuations. If you're going to be on FIFA a little bit more this week, spend a little bit of time on Footbin as well. Look at some fluctuations. This guy was 320,000 coins today, back up to 350 where he is now. You know, that's 10,000. If you get him at 325 and you sell him at 355, um, that is some solid profit right there. I'm not, that's like what, maybe 355, your tax would be somewhere around like uh, 17, 18,000 coins. So, you know, you'd have, you'd have somewhere in the range of like, you know, 10 or 11, 12, 13 K profit on a card. If you bought it at 325 and sold that 355 ish, right? If my math is correct. And it even looks like you might be able to get a sale at 370. So look through some of these cards this week, um, special cards. If you have the itch for trading, if you don't have the itch for trading, uh, and this is the other thing that I'll say this week is be careful with investing. If you're going to invest it all this week, just be careful with it because I'm not quite sure, again, what EA is going to do with the Team of the Weeks. They could very easily throw in past Team of the Week cards like this Kevin and Babu. Talked a little bit about it yesterday. But if they threw a card like this back into packs, you would see some panic selling on the foot market because people would know that when that card goes back into packs, they are going to be getting supplied. And what that means is they're going to be more of them on the market which is gonna make their price drop. So people are gonna see that card coming back into packs and they're gonna panic sell it to get out of their club, get it out of their team. And then um, of course, it's gonna get that more supply after that. So just be careful with special cards that you do have if you're continuing to trade right now in this game. Uh, and of course, good luck on your icon swaps. Other objectives as well, if you guys are grinding these, good luck. Um, win 15 games, wow, I'm one off. Looks like I need to win one more game and I will get myself a prime gold players pack um and then a saint patrick's day kit as well i i did not see this interesting maybe we'll have, well maybe we, we could have some stuff on tuesday for saint patrick's day that's one thing i didn't think about that is this tuesday saint patrick's day so possibility for some content i mean if they're dropping a kit i guess there's a, a possibility of it so we'll just see what happens uh with saint patrick's day on tuesday so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you, you slap a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe of course to the channel if you're new. This week on FIFA, it's kind of like a, you don't know what's going on, right? So we're just going to kind of play it how it goes, see what happens, follow EA Sports on Twitter and what they say, but also just kind of figure it out as it goes. That's kind of the plan. So again, it's been Nate. I will catch you guys. I'll catch you guys in a video tomorrow, yeah? I think I've uploaded a little bit of a, you know, one-to-one -one here with me and you as the viewer. I think I've uploaded every single day. I'm averaging one video per day since the start of 2020, which has been an incredible grind. You know, sometimes you miss a video here or there, you miss a day. We've been like cut solid right through, like boom, 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 all the way since January 1st, I think, or January 2nd. So thank you guys for supporting me. You guys make me grind this more because the support that you guys show makes me want to put more time into it. And I greatly thank you for that. So continue that and I'll keep continuing what I am doing. Again, I will catch you guys in a video soon. Peace out.